Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I wished we never hear of Hillary Clinton again, or any Clinton, for that matter, again. But I guess my wishes uh, will not be fulfilled, since it seems to me, or it's a possibility, I think a big possibility, that this Hillary Clinton would like to enter the U.S. presidency through the back door, that is, uh, through the ass. How um, maybe she wants to be um, the running mate of a guy who will die if he makes it by election uh, day, and if he gets elected and he dies in office, she will become the president. I do not pass that, I do not don't put that past this guy's way of thinking whatsoever. And even if this very strange individual called Hillary Clinton uh, would not seek that, tra uh, that uh, thing, I think that that uh, strange person called uh, Chelsea Clinton the offspring of that guy and uh, this uh, gal will be um, in how should I put it, in line for some political career. I am 99% certain that Chelsea Clinton will be activated at one point. And they should do it earlier because they're gonna die soon. They're all old. Not that old, but you know, Time is ticking. So let me show you how I think Clinton uh, makes her move. And I'm talking about the Clinton, who was the wife of the former wife. I'm going to tell you her achievements, Hillary Clinton. I'm going to tell you her achievements as a politician or anything, or anything else. She was the wife of the governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton. Then she was the wife of the... President of the United States, Bill Clinton. Then she ran, not being from, but ran as a senator in New York, in the state of New York. And hey, after she was the wife of the president, she became a senator of the state of New York. No credentials whatsoever. She was the wife of an elected official. Elected official. She became the senator of the state of New York. Then she was picked from there and appointed because of her extended knowledge and experience as uh, what Secretary of State of the United States of America. No credentials whatsoever. Then she was appointed over there. She stayed over there and then she tried to get elected. I think twice, wasn't that? Once again, Obama, she didn't make it, and then in the primaries, and then against Trump, and she failed. So this winner, why did she win? Bill Clinton, I think that was her big win. Uh, and uh, she wants, or whatever, this is her success story, which is based on her husband, I would say everything. She was the wife, a wife, of a president. That's it. And from there, she became the senator of a state that was not her state, as far as I remember. She's from, Ar she lived in Arkansas with her husband. So the connection was what? From Arkansas, Arkansas moved to uh, uh, Washington DC as the wife of the president. And then boom, senator, one of the two in uh, New York. So don't tell me that was not fixed by the guys, by the establishment. She was voted in, right? Yes. And then, then what? She was grabbed and put on a position because of Billy, not because of her. She was just a wife. So what are her fucking achievements? Huh? What are they? What exactly did she do through her own? Poor Bill Clinton. So anyway, let me show you this. Uh, I'm saying that sarcastically, because I cannot and I will not forget Bill Clinton for NAFTA, which was, I think, a treacher, treacherous economic uh, bullshit with, uh, for the Americans. One, he's a globalist. 
Second, I forgive him for uh, Monica Lewinsky and many others that we are not aware of. And the third one, if they are, right? And the third one, obviously, I will not forget and forgive him for the illegal bombardment of the sovereign independent country of Yugoslavia. There was an illegal bombardment, not authorized by United Nations. That is illegal. So, nevertheless, he is still alive and all that. L let me show you what she says here in The Hill. In The Hill, and this is the way I think that she's going to try to get through the ass, through the back door. She says that Hillary Clinton is all in on Biden re-election bid. As what? They don't tell us as what. But she starts by saying this, and please listen to this. Former Secretary of State appointed, grabbed and appointed. So when they tell you that, that was not based on any merits that she had in foreign policy whatsoever. Nothing. Wife of a president, wife of a governor, wife of a president, then a senator, which is a state shit, right? And then all of a sudden, former secretary of state. What exactly did she do? Nothing. She was the top foreign policy maker, like Lavrov, like, I don't know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Peter Giarto, like Dr. Jay Shankar, right? Like uh, what's the other guy in Wang Yi of China? She is the counterpart. She's on the same level as Baerbock of Germany and uh, Blinken of the United States or what's her name? Lizzie Lazy Truss of Great Britain. Infantiles, not ready, not good. So this se former Secretary of State, no, wife of a president, nothing here. Uh, Hillary Clinton said she was, quote unquote, all in on President Biden's re-election bid in Thursday interview. And she, when I look at what, what's been accomplished with the team that was put together, I am very impressed. Really? Okay, Clinton said on Morning, Morning Joe, and I'm quoting, I'm all in to re-elect people who got this done. That's what this country needs. Okay, uh, the whole bullshit here is talking in general generalities. But let me show you something what um, this uh, team has accomplished. Let me show you another article, okay? And if you're not okay with that, you have to look at it. All right, so this team has done this for this country. U.S. household income fell for third straight year. Census Bureau. So yes, he did a fantastic, fantastic job, the team. So yes, he did a fantastic job in the first, in the last three years, three years. The, our uh, life, how should I put it, uh, lifestyle, live, standard of living decreased. So I don't care if you gave Ukraine a lot of money and they're doing great, we're doing wars. And I'm voting for you, get the fuck out. All right, so yes, thank you very much. So much he did, this team did for this country. That's the first indicator we are not doing well, you know. I remember when uh, um, I had a conversation. I had a conversation with my father or someone. Else. I, can, I, I was a witness, and my I think my mom told my dad something like, "Oh, that you know that thing uh, is cheaper now. It's on sale or something. You know, have you heard that?" And my dad he said, "Yeah, I heard the Bentleys uh, had a sale too. Why? Because you can't fucking buy, buy a Bentley, and the Bentley is what three hundred thousand dollars. Let's say it's not three hundred thousand dollars. It's two hundred uh, two hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. A, a sale of five thousand uh, dollars. It's a great sale, but you can't buy it. So I don't care if the Bentley has a sale of five thousand dollars. You know, I care what I can buy, what I can do. So the same here. I don't care if Ukraine is doing great or Japan is doing great or this is great or that's great. What about us? That's the first thing that these guys are, are are supposed to take care of. If we're doing wars, get the fuck out. So Bill Clinton will try to get in. This guy probably, if he is b b b b b resuscitated, all this uh, one year and a half in the office, if the pandemic masks come back in and we're going to vote by mail and everything like the fairest elections ever, then he's going to get elected again by not campaigning. She's going to be the, let's say, the vice president, which is, it seems like, to be a racist thing because Kamala has to be the one. So she's going to cut the line in front of Kamala, I guarantee you, if that's, if it's between Clintons, the Clinton clan, and the Kamala, 
Uh, I think uh, Kamala with her husband, check, just check Kamala Harris's husband, Zelensky Stein. Do it for me. Always like to look at the early life. Why? It tells you a lot. So I think Clinton will cut the throat of the Zelensky Stein and uh, what's her name? Uh, Kamala Harris. And Biden suddenly will kick the bucket, go and see Jesus because he deserves, he's a good person. And then guess what? We're going to have the first female, white female, uh, heterosexual uh, president. Then what? With all her history and all her abilities as Secretary of State, wife of, of uh, President, Senator-elect, and uh, also a wife of a uh, governor of Ar the state of Arkansas, Arkansas, she will be the greatest president of all time. Jesus Christ, I can hardly wait to move. <laughs> No, I'm not going to move. The problem is like this. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not going to let them win. I can't. But if they win, you know, democratically, as they did last time, then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.